So Sheffield Wednesday have had a rocky start to the season, to say the least. Two games, two losses. From that, you would probably expect the newly promoted side to not have a great deal of success this season. And you definitely probably wouldn't be expecting them to sign a player from PSG. But that is just what has happened. Deji Gasama has signed for Sheffield Wednesday from PSG. As always, we will read the club statement directly from the club website. The Owls have completed the permanent signing of French winger Deji Gasama from French giants Paris Saint-Germain. The 19-year-old becomes Wednesday's 10th signing of the summer transfer window. Gassama came up through the youth ranks at PSG and made his professional debut in a 4-0 win over Montpellier in May 2022, featuring alongside superstars Lionel Messi and Kylian Mbappe. He received a call-up for France's under-20 squad in September 2022, playing twice for Le Bleu's young side against Tunisia. The attacking winger spent last season on loan in Belgium with Cass Eupen, scoring twice in 19 games in the Pro League. After returning to Parc de Prince for pre-season, Gassama now makes a permanent switch to S6. Welcome to Hillsborough, Deji. Is it Jedi or Jedji? I'm going to say Deji for now and apologise if I'm mispronouncing that. So this is obviously quite exciting. He's predominantly a left winger. He can play, apparently, as a centre-forward and a right-winger as well. So, again, one of those versatile options. But left-wing is probably where we were looking weakest in terms of the attacking positions, if you think who we'd already signed. So a natural left-winger is the kind of right move to be making. Cisco is being backed by Chancery, you can see it. But what I'm quite impressed with with these sort of signings is they are conceivably low-risk. Now, a lot of these are undisclosed fees, I can't see it being too much money we're paying on these players. I would imagine it's less than a million per player. If it's any more, then you go, "Mm, that's not really low risk for the championship. But less than a million, if it's around that 500, 600K mark, around the sort of money that we're reportedly paying for Wilkes, even though actually apparently that was even less, that was around 350K. Those low risk signings where they could actually come good and net you some profit in the future if we're going to have to have that sort of system sign young players he's 19 years old signed on a permanent from PSG yes he's only played for them once he's made he made his debut last year but it's still a caliber of player that Wednesday haven't previously been signing I think a lot of these deals will probably have hefty sell-ons in them or reasonable sell-ons whereas if this player ends up doing really well for Wednesday the actual selling team gets some money out of it as well. And I think that's not the worst way to do it, in fairness, because you get these players in and they might help you get to your next step. And then Wednesday becomes known as one of those clubs that you can actually go and progress your career. Yes, Wednesday don't really want to be known as a stepping stone, but it's not worked too badly for Brentford, has it? You know, they've done all right out of it. So if we can bring in young talent, have that system ready, these players develop into there, either go on, we sell them, they make us a decent amount of money and it attracts more players. If we can set a scouting team up for that, I am all for it. It's interesting to know, if you do a bit of research on this guy, just as last year, Wolves were eyeing a transfer for him. They didn't go through with it in the end, but there's also been other Premier League links for this player before. He's been one on the watch list. And when he made an appearance for PSG last season, Poch was talking about how he was a, you know, he was one for the future sort of thing and talking about taking time with players like this because they will be the future of PSG. Obviously, that doesn't happen. When you play a young player, that is what a manager tends to say. They're about the future. We can't rush them and things like that. However, there's different levels to the game and having a player come in that's potentially not going to be the future of PSG because they've got Mbappe up front. And (laughs) that's a little bit different for him to sign for Sheffield Wednesday and potentially being a part of our future. So he's 19 years old without a lot of club experience. Obviously, you wouldn't expect too much at that age. Last season was the season he got that. He went to Belgium and he made 19 appearances. He scored two goals as well. So, you know, 19, not too, not too bad on your first loan spell. Not, not amazing, but he wasn't really a fundamental part of that squad, you can imagine. So 
being part of Wednesday's future, even if he isn't a starter coming in and building him here, I think it's a good level for him. And what I like about it is it's a permanent deal. It shows a player with some ambition to kick on and actually start their career off. They're not waiting around. You know, he's got to 19. He had a loan spell last season, enjoyed it, realises he's not going to be in PSG's plans. He could have gone for a loan deal, but he goes, no, I'm going to move to England. I'm going to move to a championship squad and I'm going to establish myself in this league and that's what I'm going to attempt to do and I respect that because he's not waiting around for it he's not playing the loan system you know PSG is one of them clubs that you could probably get quite cushy with the loan system you accept a contract and then you go out on loan and you've you've got the wages and you go up that sort of youth system you show a little bit of shine he has gone and gone no I'm gonna make a name for myself hypothetically he's done this and uh, play for Wednesday. That's what it looks like anyway. He's got the permanent deal. The fact that he's part of the France under 20 setup as well is nothing to shy away from. It's not like France aren't a good international side. He's 19, he's playing for the under 20s. He's a current under 20s player as well. He's only made two appearances for them, but he could be someone who stays around that setup and more game time could work in his favour in that regard. And we will know if he keeps those appearances up. There's still interest in him from his international setup, which could be quite exciting. He's technically also, just for a fun note, he's got a League One winner's medal. He's won the league, which you'd kind of expect. But yeah, for the 21-22 season, he's got a League One winner's medal, which is a bit weird because he didn't seem to make any appearances in that league. Do they just hand out medals in that league to the whole squad, even the young players? Is this a little bit like Brewster's medal for the Champions League? Is it one of them? Since I last made a video, we also signed Momo Diaby. So we've got a couple of Diabys at the club now. Momo Diaby is a central defensive midfielder. We aren't slowing down with the signings. We talked about a really slow start to the season. This is our 10th player through the door. So yes, I understand we're going to have a staggered start here. And I was worried watching that match against Hull. However, there's still that sign that something is being worked on and, in, and that thought in the back of my brain that if it just clicks and he's he, there is a plan there and these players are Chisco's players and we just can't quite see the plan yet. Yes, the plan might be for the future, but we need a short-term plan this season, you know. If there's something there, I don't know. I'm really struggling in, in general at the minute with, because this is just off the back of the whole defeat by the way so I'm not throwing the toys out of the pram yet two games in but it's exciting the signing these sort of players for me you see some people going oh I never heard of him I never heard of him I never heard of him we've not heard for the play of the players that you're signing that we're signing you know experience like Delgado did anybody really know too much about him so the older players we're bringing in, we don't really know too much about them either. Bringing in young unknowns, but young unknowns that have been touted by the likes of Wolves and I think even Dortmund were linked at one point. And we know how good their youth system is. But yeah, we can't say Chisco is not bringing in players now and Chanceri has not been backing him. We may, we're, Even though these fees might not be massive, they are fees going off for players. We also loaned in Vasquez, which is very much a Chisco signing. You think a player, a, a goalkeeper from AC Milan that's going to play out from the back. So we're just going to see how that one develops. But this player could be exciting. The The age is is very young in terms of potential for a player. He was touted by some really, really decent squads and the fact that Wolves are interested in, in him is one in my brain like that makes sense actually why we'd be interested in him a year later for the style we're sort of trying to play I could see that but as always I want to know what you think are you excited by the prospects of this do you think it's going to be one for the future do you think he's going to feature a little bit this season but let me know what you think about our new left winger in the comments. Will Gasama be a success story for Sheffield Wednesday? We will have to wait to find out. But for now, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, do all those things, and keep watching right here on Dexterity Box.